Hello and welcome to part one of my huge book haul. Um, so this weekend, if you watched, not this weekend, but the weekend of the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, um, I went to a library sale and in this library sale I bought 32 books. Yes, 32 books. I only spent $18, but I got 32 books. And in the second part of this video, we will be back at my apartment at school where I will have my book outlet order that I ended up getting. So all in all, I should have 30, 41, I believe, books in this book, in this book haul. Like, it's absurd. Um, obviously, not all of the books that I have with me here are going home with, or going back with me. If they were, I would just do the whole thing over there, but we don't have time for that. Um, I do have one book here that uh, I did not buy, that my friend did get for me. Thank you very much, Daniel. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to start off with the books that I am leaving here, um, and then I'll go into the books that I'm taking with me. I will say that there are a few books in this book haul that have automatically gone into my unhaul pile, so those will not be featured in this video, but they should be featured in my next video, which will be my books that I'm unhauling video. So don't worry, we're, you, you'll see them. Uh, let's get on to the video. There's only one book in all of these that I got that I have already read, and so I'm just going to go ahead and start off with that one, and it is where the Mountain Meets the Moon by Grace Lynn. By the way, I'm not telling you anything about these. No synopsises. This is too many books to be telling you synopsises. I will end up being here for like three hours. So, Where the Mountain Meets the Moon by Grace Lynn. Book one of the Night Angel Trilogy, The Way of Shadows by Brent Weeks. Zatch Bell, Volume 13 by Makoto Raiku. Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides. Eugenides. Eugenides? Eugenides, probably, more than likely. Wintermind by Marvin K. and Park Godwin. This is a um, back and forth. I may unhaul this, I may keep this. I need to see and make sure that this is not like the middle of a series. So that may or may not end up in my unhaul video. We will see. Zoits by Walter Kerrig. Um, Rockets in Ursa Major by Fred Hoyle and Jeffrey Hoyle. I Pedrito by L. Ron Hubbard. Oh, an original story by L. Ron Hubbard, uh, novelized by Kevin J. Anderson. I don't, I don't. Coming Home by Rose, Rosamund Pilker. Uh, Gray Mountain by Josh Grisham. Still Life with Woodpecker by Tom Robbins. The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. The Innocent Man, also by John Grisham. Oh, I left the sticker on. Welcome to the World Baby Girl by Fanny Flagg. End War the Hunted by Tom Clancy's. Or no, Tom Clancy's End War the Hunted by David Michaels. Is this part of a series? Nah. Heart and Soul by Maeve... Binchy. That's a horrible name. Eye of the Needle by Ken Follett. All of those books I got in what were called bundle bags or bundle packages, um, which were a dollar. I have one more, I believe, that will be in my um, books I'm taking with me, but all, yeah, all of those were in my bundle bags. And the last book that I'm going to be keeping here is going to be uh, Tolkien's Rings, 
or Tolkien's Ring by David Day. This is just, I just, it's Lord of the Rings. I needed it. Okay, leave me alone. It was a dollar, all right? Okay, so those are all of the books that I'm going to be leaving here. I'm going to go ahead and show you the one that I'm actually probably, um, that my friend got me and I'm actually going to be reading first out of all of these and it is Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. Um, me and Kayleen will be doing a buddy read of this in October so if you would like to join us please be sure to comment below and I will give you the information when I have it. This was also, this is the last book, I believe, yes, this is the last book of the books that I got in my bundles that I am keeping, and it is The Black Chalice by Mary Jacober. The next book I have for you was in, like, perfect condition until I put this book on top of it, and there's, for some reason, a, like, sticky patch, so it, like, messed up the cover. I'm mad. I'm mad at myself. It's okay. I should have known better. Um, but anyway, it is The Midnight Queen by Sylvia Izzo Hunter. The Chronicles of the Black Company by Glenn Cook. This is the, uh, a full trilogy. The books are The Black Company, Shadow Lingers, and The White Rose. My Name is Mina by David Almond. That is really shiny. Oh goodness. Here. Do there. Now you can see it. The Clockwork 3 by Matthew J. Kirby. D Gray Man Volume 8 and D Gray Man Volume 10 by Kotsura Hoshino. I've been looking for these forever. I'm so excited that I got it. I am definitely gonna go find the 10th volume soon so that I can just like binge read the three of them or like just binge read the entire series that I have so far. <sighs> so excited. So excited. Okay, that's all I have for you in part one. Ha! Welcome to part two of my book haul, which is an unboxing! Yay! got my address blocked out and everything this time. So, I obviously know what's in this because it's a book outlet order. Haha, -ha. so, I'm specifically excited for one of these, more than the others, <laughs> but um, regardless, I'm excited about all of them because they are books. Open. This is the sharpest knife I own and it's having troubles. Lift it up so it doesn't like mess it up or something. Okay. The box got a little bit messed up but it should be fine. Packing slip. Yep. Okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. So, ha ha ha. Um. Oh, so, okay. I really. I just need. I just. I just need to. Okay. I just need to pull them out. All right. So, for most of these, I don't really know what they're about. Um. I just saw them and they looked really, really cool and like certain things in their. Um. um header like not headers but their uh descriptions made me really want them and some of them are things that I've, I've wanted for a while so um okay let's start with what's on top um the first book we have here is book one in the keepers trilogy museums of thieves by leanne taylor or tanner um this is a fantasy and it's about this girl who meets the boy, it, this boy in a museum, but I don't really know, even reading the back, it doesn't really tell me exactly what it's about. So, 
we will see. This looks really interesting though. And like, I love museums and so I wanna work in a museum someday. So, you know, yeah. Okay, so the next two we have are The Looking Glass Wars. The first two books in The Looking Glass Wars by Frank Bedor. This one is Just the Looking Glass Wars and this one is Seeing Red, books one and two. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is a steampunk Alice in Wonderland retelling, which, like, has my name on it. I adore steampunk, and I adore Alice in Wonderland, so, like, why not? And I've been seeing these a lot, and I've been really wanting to read them. So, like, why not, you know? And they were a dollar. Just saying. The next book is also an Alice in Wonderland retelling, and it is After Alice by Gregory Frank. And let me look at this. Oh, oh, this is cool. Like, this looks like, it's kind of like wax paper. Um, sturdier than wax paper, but then the actual book itself is like a map. That is so cool. Dude. Dude. That's so cool. This is really interesting. Oh, and it has deckled edges. Ah, I like deckled edges. I know some people that really hate them. This is a really loud book. Um, I know some people that really hate them, but I love deckled edges. want to check all of the things. This one doesn't have as interesting as an, have an actual book cover, but that's okay. Um, this one looked like a good book for Halloween, and or like that kind of thing, because it looked kind of vampiric, but I don't really know if it is. I think... Let me see. It's like about three sisters who are trying to kill each other. This is The Daughters of Ruin by... KD Kastner, but that's what it's, it looks like, is um, three sisters who have been trained basically to kill each other, which reminds me a lot of Three Dark Crowns, but I don't think that this is magical, like theirs is. But you know, it just, it's a standalone, I believe. Um, at least that's what it said when I was reading about it, so this looked like a good one to read during like the fall months so I decided to pick it up again it was like a dollar most of these were a dollar which is like one of the main reasons I love book outlet this is the judge of ages by John C Wright I don't know anything about this book this was legitimately just a cover by like look at his beautiful cover it's gorgeous I'm pretty sure it is sci-fi, which I don't read, <laughs> but it's gorgeous and I love it. And it was originally $16.99 and I got it for like five bucks. So if that, it's like four bucks, three bucks, one of the two. More steampunk. <laughs> um, this is The Fog Diver by Joel Ross. This is the first book in a trilogy, I think. But it's steampunk, and I just, listen, if it's steampunk, I'm gonna want it. It's just the fact that it's steampunk makes me want to read it. So that's why I was reading Everland. I hate Peter Pan, but I wanted to read it because it was steampunk, and the next book in the series was an Alice in Wonderland retelling. The only reason I wanted to read it. Did I finish it? No. Am I intending on finishing that one? No. But I, but this, the point stands. <laughs> Crossroads of Canopy by... Thoria Dyer. This, I believe, is about a girl who um, escapes from her parents to work with a goddess, I think, of a great magical forest. And when somebody in that area dies or something like that, she ends up trying to take it over. I don't remember exactly, but I do know that it's like a, a girl working with a goddess or something like that in a magical, like, giant forest. And the, um, like, everyone lives in this forest and stuff like that, I think. But this was also very much a cover buy. This was the one that I, like, 
back and forth to the most because most of these I've had on, in my cart for a very long time. However, this one was one that I had seen and was just like, ooh, I want it. I really want it. I want it. I shouldn't get it, but I want it. So that's, that's how that happened. I'm like checking all of these to see if they have cool actual covers. I didn't check the fog divers. Oh, this one is cute. This one's the fog divers, sorry. <laughs> this one is cute. Uh, the After Alice still wins, but it's cute. And then, the book that I am the most excited for and is actually on my TBR, which I have every intention of reading this, th this next month. God's Grave by Jake Kristoff. I'm so excited. This is a signed first edition. What? Oh! Oh! Dude! Dude, what? This is a signed first edition. This, that wasn't even advertised on Goodreads that this was a signed first edition. Dude. 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 I'm so excited. That's super exciting. This is probably from Barnes & Noble, but like that's super exciting regardless. Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh, and it has the red sun in the back? That's really cool. I mean, there are, th there are three suns? Three suns, I believe. So like, the red sun is in the background of this one. Like... I'm so excited now. <laughs> I'm like extra excited. I have like a not a fancy edition, but like a good edition of this book. Like, dude, that wasn't advertised at all. I thought I was just getting a regular edition of the God's Grave, but okay. Maybe that's, pro that's probably why it was like 10 bucks because it's not just a normal edition, but like it didn't say that on the thing. Okay, okay. I'm like extra excited now. But anyway, so those were the books that I got. Um, the ones that I'm planning on reading pretty soon are After Alice, obvi, because I've wanted this book since I was in like junior high. Not that long. I don't, <laughs> it's not been that long, but I have several years I've been wanting this book. Um, probably The Judge of Ages and and or Daughters of Ruin because this one it just looks really cool. I'm sorry. I really like this cover Like I don't normally like when there are people on the cover, but this is a really pretty cover Like I like the colors. I like the pop of the red. She has a really well done face and hair like That's really good. That's a really well done cover like I'm, I'm genuinely I Really like this cover so but anyway, that's not the point um I have nowhere to put these, but I'm like extra excited now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, those were all of my books. I got 32 at the book sale and then I got nine here. So I think all in all, I ended up with 41 books in the last two weeks. Um, several of those, I mean, of the book art sale are going to be unhauled, but still, that's a ridiculous amount of books for two weeks. I should really calm down. I'm probably not going to be getting any books anytime soon, um, except for more than likely the last of the Magisterium books. But the only reason I did this haul was because it was an unboxing and it was because I was going to the art or to the library sale and I knew I would have a whole bunch to show you. So, ah, I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I feel like I don't know. I'm just really excited. This is really fun. I'm so happy right now. I'm in such a good mood. I was in a good mood all day. Don't get me wrong, but like my mood has just been it's just suddenly screaming. This is so good. I'm so happy. Uh, <laughs> everything in my life is better than it was 15 minutes ago. <laughs> That is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. If you have read any of these books and know, like, like, and or like, whether you like them or not, but if you have read any of these, please tell me down below and tell me what you thought of them. Whether you like them or not, if you didn't like them, feel free to tell me why you didn't like them. It's fine. Um, try not to be like mean, but or non-spoilery, of course. But if you did or did not like them, please leave a comment down below and let me know about it. Um, I'm super excited right now. I'm so excited right now. You have no idea. Okay, so 
Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you so wish. Be sure to hit the little bell down below because I don't think people have been seeing these videos. But if you, uh, I'll be leaving my Goodreads and the Instagram down below in the description box as well. And feel free to leave a comment telling me what you want me to do in the next, in uh, future videos. Whatever you put, I will more than likely do because why not? <laughs> And I will see you now later. Happy reading. Bye. Have to be sure not to, you know, look at the actual page. This is like the one bad thing about doing that kind of outro is you end up looking at the page, but it's fine. Today's been a